I'm Matt from the Pickleball Clinic, and today I'm going to teach you guys a shot that I believe is not talked about nearly enough. This shot is going to be absolutely key for you to progress your game through the ranks and master the soft game. This shot is the reset. A reset is when a volley or otherwise hard shot is hit back into the kitchen as opposed to hitting a counter attack where you try to hit it back hard. The reset is one of the most difficult shots to master because it requires a ton of touch and feel because you're taking a really hard, powerful shot and just dropping it lightly back into the kitchen. If you master this shot, you will master the soft game. This is the one shot that the pros and 5.0 level players are hitting from all over the court in order to work the point, play defense, and get themselves into a rally so that they can end up winning, scoring a point, or getting a side out. Our first key strategy for hitting a good reset is to make sure that you're keeping the paddle out in front. It's gonna be really difficult to reset the ball if we're making contact behind our body. So if I'm making a forehand here, or hitting a backhand over here, it's gonna be really tough to get the ball to go where I need it to go. Instead, I wanna keep the paddle out in front. So I want contact to be made about arm's length in front of my body for a backhand here, or forehand over here, no matter where the ball is, I need it to be out in front of my body. And in addition to keeping the paddle out in front, you wanna make sure that you're not taking a swing for this shot. It's just a deflection. You wanna hold the paddle out in front and let the ball bounce off it. So if I'm hitting resets right here, I'm letting the ball bounce off the paddle. I'm not taking a swing. I'm getting the paddle to the right spot where the ball is coming to, and I'm just deflecting. I'm just letting it bounce off. For the second tip, I'm gonna share with you guys one of the top reasons why your resets might be popping up too high or going too far. And this tip is universal for all shots in pickleball, and it has to do with your grip pressure. When I'm holding the paddle, I wanna be holding it with a pressure of about a three out of 10, with a 10 being an absolute death grip and a one being here where the paddle's gonna fall out of my hand if I hold it any looser. I wanna be at about a three. The reason for this is when you're holding the paddle tight, the paddle acts like a brick wall. So imagine you're throwing a ball at a brick wall, it bounces right off. But when you're holding it at about a three, super loose, the paddle's gonna act like a mattress. Imagine you're throwing a ball at a mattress, the pace gets absorbed. It bounces a little bit, but it absorbs most of the pace. That all has to do with your grip pressure. When you're holding the paddle loose, you're gonna absorb the pace. So whenever I'm getting ready for a reset, I wanna check my hand, make sure it's loose. And then I'm gonna hold it out in front, and a loose hand is gonna allow me to get that ball right back into the kitchen without taking a swing at it. I'm always checking my hand pressure. I'm making sure that I'm holding it with a loose hand. As soon as I grip it too tight, that's when the ball starts to pop. So this is a tight grip, it's going far. This is the same swing with a loose grip. Loose grip, I absorb. Tight grip, we pop. And for our third tip, we wanna make sure that we're getting behind the ball and getting low. We wanna have a low, strong base. We wanna be right behind the ball. If you're standing upright and or reaching for the ball, it's gonna be really tough to get that control. We wanna absorb the pace of the ball. We wanna stand our ground right behind it. Imagine I wanted to push a heavy piece of furniture and I want it to be as strong as possible. I wouldn't lean out and push it like this. That's super weak. I can't move a heavy, a heavy box like this. But if I get right behind it and I push forward with a low base, I can move that all day. The lower you are and the more in front of your target you are, the stronger you're gonna be and the easier time you're gonna have controlling that ball. Now this has to do a little bit more with our transition zone reset because from here we're gonna be getting slammed a little bit more and we're gonna have a little bit more court to cover. So it's especially important that when we're back off the line and we're playing that defense, make sure we're down low and getting behind the ball. The reset is a shot that we want to use to go from a defensive position into a neutral position. So anytime I'm put on defense, maybe I'm in the middle of the court in the transition zone, or maybe I'm up here and my opponent's got a pop up and I just need to block it back, I'm going to go with the reset because the reset's going to be slow and if it lands in the kitchen, it's going to be unattackable. So no matter where I'm in the court, if I'm on defense, I can use the reset to neutralize and then go for a counterattack. 